Hello, this is the headlining news around the East African region from Kenya. Nairobi Governor Mike Sunko has been accused of nominating controversial lawyer Miguna Miguna as his deputy to preempt his impeachment. Jubilee Party Vice Chairman David Morathi claimed that the governor had named the lawyer to divert attention from questions about his performance. And news coming in from South Sudan, President Salvaki says he will not accept any agreement creating two armies, dissolution of the security sector and the return of his former first deputy in government and the party in an official capacity. The South Sudanese leader made the remarks during a brief to the Dinka Council of Elders members who paid a cut service to his official residence in Juba on Thursday evening. Moving on to Rwanda, Horizon Company, a local construction company repairing the damaged section of the Kigali Gatuna Highway in Chumba sector in Gichumba district are optimistic that they will complete the section before the weekend. The Ministry of Infrastructure gave them a deadline by Monday to repair about 500 meters of the road, which was constructed by German firm Strabag in 2015. It was damaged by rainfall induced landslides early this week. A news from Burundi. Burundians on Thursday voted in a constitutional referendum that could see President Pierre Nkurunziza stay in power extended until 2034. If passed, it will extend the president's term from five to seven years. The changes will also allow President Nkurunziza to stand for two more terms after his current one comes to an end in 2020. The referendum needs to be approved by more than 50% of the voters of the proposed changes to be made to the constitution. From Uganda, Lira food pilgrims have entered day four on the first leg of their two weeks journey to Uganda Amata Shrine in Namugongo. The excited pilgrims, most of them youth, are marching while carrying their bags on their backs. They have so far had stopovers of Akola district, which is about 21 kilometers from Lira town. They had another stopover at Ngulurunde in Oyam district. The pilgrims had their lunch at Lora. 45 kilometers from Lira town where they spent a night. Mother's Day is celebrated worldwide every 3rd of June. Finally, from Tanzania, Professor Palamagamba Kabundi and the director of Tanzanite, Juan Feizo Juma, signed a payment agreement in Dar es Salaam to compensate government and pay all taxes. It owes it. Tanzanite One Mining Company agreed to do this after it considered some malpractices in its operations in the country. That was the headlining news around the East African region.